In this video, you're going to find out why controlling your emotions is harming you and what you can do instead. Imagine driving your car on a straight road. At the end of the road, you see your mountain of values. It's a majestic, beautiful, and sunny mountain, visible from everywhere, that represents your values, what's important to you. Every day, you get in your car and you drive toward your mountain, just as you're doing now. But sometimes, during your daily driving, you feel a negative emotion growing in you. On the side of the road, you see a signal you've seen many, many times in your life. It says, next exit for control and suppression. Since control and suppression are the only way we've been taught to deal with unwanted emotions, they are the only way we know. So you take the next exit because it's familiar to you. Once you've taken the exit, you see a second signal called Emotional Avoidance Detour. Oh well, you think, it's just a deviation. I'm going to get back on the road to my mountain of values soon enough. You keep driving on the Emotional Avoidance Detour, but at some point, you realize something very odd. The detour is actually an oval, like a NASCAR track. You go round and round on the road, but you keep ending up in the same place you've started. The solution is using more control and suppression, you think. So you increase the speed, but since you're driving on an oval track, you come back exactly where you started. You really want to drive to your mountain of values, but you're stuck here, wasting time, fuel, and mental energy driving in circles. You keep driving and driving, and luckily, at some point, your unwanted emotion goes away. You exit the emotional avoidance detour and you go back to the main road. The problem is that the next day, if this emotion comes back again, you're going to take the detour, even if you know that it's going to be a waste of time, fuel, and mental energy that could be used to drive one more mile towards your mountain of values. Why do we keep taking the control and suppression exit? Why do we keep wasting precious life moments on the emotional avoidance detour? Because it's the only thing we've been taught. It's not our fault. Nobody taught us how to manage something that drives our life, our emotions. We end up on the emotional avoidance detour, but the root problem is really control and suppression. Something we do with all emotions. Why are these two ineffective strategies so wrong? Because what we do is treat our mental content as if it was a physical object. You don't like the table close to the window? You simply move it. It's a 10-second job. You want to take out the trash? You do it. Easy. But good luck trying to do that with your mental content. You have a thought that you don't like, something you really don't want to deal with, so you try to trash it, like a physical object. And after a short time, it comes back again. You try to suppress an emotion, and after a while, it comes back to bite you. There's a big difference between control and suppression and management. Control and suppression imply a direct authority over something, while management means handling something that is doing its own thing. You don't have direct control over your emotions. You can't switch them off at will. What you can do is manage them. You can learn to tame them when they're too strong and channel them to work in your favor. How can you do that? There are many ways and it depends on the emotion, but you can start with something simple called diffusion technique. First of all, what does the word diffusion mean? According to Russ Harris, the founder of ACT, Acceptance and Commitment Therapy, we can find ourselves in a state of fusion or in a state of defusion. Fusion happens when we get tangled in our thoughts and emotions and pushed around by them. We are glued to the contents of our mind, our emotions, thoughts, memories, assumptions, beliefs, images, etc. We consider our thoughts and emotions the absolute truth and this can cause suffering. The solution is not trying to control and suppress these feelings. The solution is to weaken the power they have over you by seeing them for what they really are, just thoughts, words in your mind, and emotions, activations of your body. Once you do that, you go from a state of fusion, 
where you are tangled with your thoughts and emotions, to a state of diffusion where you take a step back and break free from your mental content. Diffusion is the ability to separate from your thoughts and emotions, to let them come and go instead of getting caught up in them. But how do you do that in practice? With a diffusion technique. Let's focus on emotion in this video, since we're going to talk about thoughts in another one. A good diffusion technique is to imagine your emotion as if it was outside of you, with its own shape and color. Try it for a second. Imagine the emotion you're struggling with in front of you. Does it have a shape? If it doesn't, give it to it. Does it have a color? And if it doesn't, imagine it with the color you want. Does it have a soundtrack? If it doesn't, choose a soundtrack for it. You can move it around, change its shape, play with it. The more fun you have, the better. This is a simple way to defuse yourself from your unwanted emotion. You can find many other techniques in SwipeJoy. You can download it for free on the App Store and Google Play Store.